<laughs> What's up, Pisces? This is gonna be your uh, zodiac sign reading. I got, I don't know. I don't know why Pisces was, was heavily on my intuition. Also, I saw the hangman card. So definitely Pisces energy. Let's go. Spirit starts Ages Ancestors for the sign of Pisces. Okay, well, first card out, we have the judgment energy here, Pisces. So I feel like there was like some decision or a final call that you have made here. Um, this could have been in regards to a lover's energy or a lover's situation with the lover's card coming up in reverse. Possibly someone that you viewed as like your empress or like the mother to your children or just like the yin to your yang, kind of like, you know, your counterpart here. I feel like this energy kind of maybe possibly left you in like a oh no actually with this five of cups energy i'm getting like i don't know i feel like this energy makes you feel, feel really good honestly because what the five of cups talks about it talks about like regret and boredom but in reverse it definitely talks about like an energy of fulfillment here so i feel like there definitely could have possibly been a decision that you were juggling here that you uh made a decision on or possibly are making a decision on here maybe something is kind of like exhausting um to do on your own here pisces with the seven of pentacles energy let's see yeah i feel like something is almost exhausting and brings a lot lot of conflict for no like uh, for no reason here with this five of rods here let's see yeah i feel as if with this four of rods something again with this lover's energy um a possible lover situation or someone that you could have viewed as a soulmate or twin flame of some sort definitely maybe you know did not work out the, the way that you kind of like um intended for it to work out here pisces right let's see yeah with this eight of pentacles um in reverse i feel like this energy kind of like kind of like um you know uh got in the way of kind of like your grind here or whatever it is you do for like your creative process or like you know whatever it is here that you do for work here but i feel like this energy kind of like took you off of that off of your path here to a certain extent here yeah again with this energy of um making an option or choosing an option here i feel like i feel like again with this two of swords or excuse me with this two of rods energy there definitely could have been some sort of manipulation or some uh, manipulation tactic here as well with the magician coming up in reverse here. So this is uh, the magician is usually talks about that manifestation in reverse. The magician definitely talks about some form of manipulation. This could have been dark magic as well of some sort here. But I definitely feel like it had a big, uh, big part in um, this uh, two of cups or um, this uh, union partnership collaboration here. Right. Maybe someone um, maybe like a fake spiritualist here, someone that would that would, uh, you know, act like or say like they would know or that knew a lot about you know a certain topic and maybe they didn't hear or maybe that was someone that was like looked at from a um you know looked up look up to here with this with this higher fit energy but with the in reverse i feel like this energy had no reason to be looked up to of some sort here with this higher fit in reverse i'm getting like a false spiritualist of some sort here but with this hermit energy i definitely say that you all could have possibly or could currently be possibly taking some time to yourself and like isolation here that hermit card definitely you know talks about like regaining your power kind of like charging up it's what the hermit energy talks about this virgo energy you could have virgo anywhere in your chart or you could be a virgo with this five of swords energy it definitely talks about you know speaking your truth living in your truth and standing up for your truth here i feel like with this energy of truth it talks about um i, I feel like other energies kind of like are looking over their shoulder as you continue to you know stand in your truth or like you know living your truth here with this queen of cups in reverse i feel like you could view someone as like you know emotionally unstable or even a bit promiscuous here with this queen of rods energy yeah, maybe they hurt you here, Pisces, with this Three of Swords energy, right? You could have gotten bit by a snake here, right? Maybe you found out that this energy had options of some sort here with the Seven of Cups, Spirits, First Angels, Ancestors. Or maybe, um, Pisces, you do have options as well here with the Seven of Cups energy. Regardless, yeah, there was an energy of kind of like, you know, um, heartache to some extent here. And as well as like, I mean, dang, Pisces, who you be hanging out with? <laughs> with this Ten of Pentacles here, it definitely talks about you kind of transmuting that energy into something more grounded and something more stable here for yourself, Pisces. Yeah, with this High Priestess in reverse, I feel like you were, are not listening to your intuition here, Pisces. You know, this High Priestess energy is Piscean energy. So what the in reverse talks about you kind of, you know, being outside out of your energy, something like knocking you off here. Yeah, but I definitely see that you're coming into a more grounded energy here especially with this uh knight of rods in reverse you're not really looking to be in and out and flighty you're you know you're looking to be very grounded here within your process here again something definitely is um kind of brought you into this imbalance period with the six of pentacles in reverse here heavy on this earth sign you could have been dealing with like a taurus virgo capricorn here yeah someone that um someone that you considered a, a good partnership or a good partner but i definitely see that you are kind of you know guarded and um closed off towards this energy right now with this two of swords as well 
but i'm saying that you're wanting to keep the cycle open here with the six of cups as well pisces i don't know what you want me to tell you make your mind up <laughs> but with the six of cups it definitely talks about an energy of like familiarity maybe this energy feels very familiar to you to some extent right with this temperance ener energy it talks about definitely filling your own cups to go ahead and then you know get out of this mental entrapment here with this eight of swords energy spirits in his ancestors for the sign of pisces yeah, here you go, Pisces. There's your energy, King of Cups. There you are. So I feel like as soon as you get out of this like mental entrapment, you can be right back in your in your boss energy, right? King of Cups talks about somebody emotionally mature, right? Um, somebody that is able to maneuver. And yeah, here you are again, the hangman in reverse. Yeah, you're definitely gonna be <laughs> right back in your power, enlightened. You could have possibly been enlightened about a situation. I feel like you're ready to stand up and communicate your truth to this energy here with the Knight of Swords as well. This could be Gemini. Yeah, the full card. Cannot make us up. You're ready to take a leap of faith and possibly a new situation, person, place, or thing here. You're ready to put down burdens here that aren't yours to carry with this Ten of Rods energy in reverse here. Spirit, Source, Angels, Ancestors. For the sign of Pisces. Pisces, what you up to? <laughs> Yeah, with the Six of Swords in reverse, I feel like there's an energy of you, like, hesitation, possibly. And it could be all mental. It could be a, just a mental thing, right? But I definitely feel like there is an energy of hesitation to some extent here. But I'm seeing it. <laughs> I'm seeing it. You're wanting to start this new cycle. I feel as if you, you're going to close out this old cycle here and you're going to move into this energy of newness here. It may make you feel a lot less independent than what you usually feel here. But I feel like it's, um, you know, you're, you're ready to bring this to light here, right? especially with this moon card in reverse here i feel like you have been very patient with this energy but i feel like you're wanting to um you know you're wanting to come forward here i feel like you're not wanting to like this isn't like a group thing right i feel like you're very serious about this energy here yeah i feel like you're wanting to take action here very quickly at one point you could have you could have saw this as unsuccessful here with the six arise you could have saw it as a burden or something you had to fight for here yeah something something unsuccessful here with the ace arise yeah but this energy is could be viewed as a queen of swords right someone very um receptive but could come off a bit cold here i feel like you kind of view this energy of like nine of cups energy i feel like at first you maybe didn't think this energy was like emotionally fulfilled on their own here to some extent right but with this three of pentacles i see that you're wanting to possibly come in you know collaborate or work with this energy here let's see spirit source angels ancestors yeah we're gonna go ahead and end it here <laughs> all right y'all talk to y'all later bye